Hi, today we'll be covering some of the features of Ixia's ATI processor with a focus on how they can be used in cyber range exercises. First, we'll log in here to the dashboard, which is uh, web-based. And you see here the ATI processor dashboard. The dashboard gives you a real-time view of what's happening in your system. We have a filter here defined that highlights uh, traffic to and from North Korea. And you can see on our world map, there's a significant amount of, uh, of traffic going between those. You can also see things like dynamic applications, top apps of the last period of time, etc. So let's view, zoom in on the view of the world. Here, I want to focus again on traffic between the United States, and I can see client and server bytes uh, there, and North Korea. And again, I see client and server bytes, uh, so I can see how much data is moving in which direction. I can also uh, look at the same view based on packets uh, and flows as well. So now let's say I want to zoom in just on that North Korea traffic. So I'll uh, select that by double clicking in the UI and I can see the specific applications that are used in that traffic. So I can see here a uh, simulation of the Sony network break-in which used the file transfer protocol to move packets out of the Sony network and into North Korea. So if I click here on my North Korea filter, I can also see things like over the last five minutes or hour or day or week, how many uh, bits per second, how much traffic is, is moving, and also the top sources and destinations of that traffic. If I'm interested, I can download that all in a spreadsheet and open it up as a CSV file. And here I can see a lot more detail about the clients and servers involved in those individual connections. And we can see there were a lot of them. And I'll also highlight here, you can see what uh, operating system type uh, was involved. So I can see that that was coming from, uh, from Windows systems. Now, once I've found this traffic of interest, I can just watch it, or I can say, okay, I want to record that traffic, so I'm going to forward it out a specific port on my NTO system, such as the Vision 1. There are a lot of other features you could exercise here, such as SSL decryption and NetFlow as well. And that concludes today's video. Thank you.